Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a show and tell that is also an unboxing because I'm a fan of both of those kinds of videos. And as you can see on the box, this is a bit of NASA kit. This comes courtesy of the Big Bad Toy Store. They sent this to us for assessment because they know how much we love NASA and all things NASA. This is an Apollo 11 and Saturn V launch vehicle uh, made by Bondi, which is really, that is a, a positive thing. Their castings, their, their tool making is just amazing. And uh, I'm really excited about cracking this open and seeing what's inside. And uh, yeah, we'll walk through all the little details. That's it. Nice, thank you for uh, including the second tissue paper layer. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, handy carrying handle. This is great if you wanna commute to work with your Saturn V launch vehicle. And who doesn't really, honestly? Um, I'm just gonna, because it's an unboxing, I'm gonna look at the whole thing. It's lovely. Bondi is just awesome. Um, big bad toy store, this is really exciting. Uh, we've got detail shots on the back. Uh, really nice uh, foil printing on both sides. Yeah, you know, there's always a way in which I consider like awesomely done box art and multiple textures on the packaging to be like, it's the harbinger that somebody cared. And I always get very excited about that. Again, all foil printing on the, on the interior box with a cool texture that I haven't really seen before. There's actually, if you look up close, there's almost like a, um, like a non-woven fabric uh, texture to it. Fascinating. Oh, ooh, I see what they've done. We have some sticker sheets here and a, uh, a little manual, plus some tiny little pieces of wire. I see. They've left the hardest parts for us. I'm kidding. Um, here we go, some little tiny flags and flag poles. We have, these are, look like maybe double stick strips for something that we'll have to deal with. Okay. Hmm. Nice bit of open cell foam. We're gonna keep that. That is useful later. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, my, my first impression just cracking it, I wanna say it's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm actually glad for that because I was thinking if this thing is like three or four feet long, where the hell is it gonna go in here? Secondly, um, while it is a slightly smaller scale than I thought it was, there's no shortage of detail. I can see right away just some beautiful, crisp castings, oh, absolutely. Gorgeous, plus we've got a little bit of moon surface here. And the coolest thing about the moon surface is covered with footprints. That is, that's really awesome. Let's put that there. We have some astronauts. They appear to be um, about five eighths of an inch tall. We have a uh, the lunar module. Here's the LEM. Oh my gosh, wow, oh wow. Here is, oh my goodness, beautiful, a chrome one. Sorry, I'm getting the names of these things wrong. I recognize, I apologize, but uh, there's a, okay, I'm gonna have to get this out of the way because there's a lot of parts. Oh, beautiful brass label. All right, we're just gonna start pulling these out, okay. Wow, oh, beautiful. There, oh, look at that. Okay. I, 
again, the castings are just stunning. Also, um, they've made getting it out of the package really, really easy. Oh my goodness. Oh, does that really do that? No, okay. This is one very, very happy space enthusiast. Look at that, yes, the tank, the tank. This is a stunning model. Yeah, this was the detail that I caught first up, looking down, just saw that. And then also, I mean, the decal work is, <laughs> what do you call it? It's retina work, right? It's smaller than I can discern. Crisp details. Yes. Wow. Um, this is really one of the loveliest models of the Saturn V I have yet seen. Okay. This I'm going to bring up. And we've run out of room. So I'm going to move this that way. Here we go. Ha! Ah, oh, wow. Okay. Um, what this is, is a beautiful plexi base with a mirror acrylic on it. And the really nice thing about the mirror acrylic is, I believe this is here so that you can see the underside of the model. I always love it when display options give you that, that specific option. <laughs> it is never again going to be that pretty, ever. Okay, now we take the tank. Ah, I see, sorry. This goes on here. And it's a bayonet lock, nifty, okay. Yep, so look at this gorgeous tank detail in the orange. Very positive fit, excellent fitment. This, just the idea, look, okay, here, take a look. That's the first thing I saw when I cracked the package. That is the kind of detail I was talking about. It's again, a nice positive fit. And I'm guessing a third bayonet mount, and I would be right. Oh, turn you around. Yes, there we go, okay. And then, oh, so many stages. Gorgeous. And then, <laughs> this business clips up here. And then, all right, okay, so. This lives here, like that. All right, so you can look up right underneath and see everything. Then these guys, so they very carefully designed it so that you can actually put it on display and it's not just this thing that's gonna sit there in danger of uh, falling over the entire time. However, right now it's in significant danger of falling over. Let me just get it. Cool. 
great. And, oh, I already got a fingerprint on the mirror. Now, we've got, oh, right. Okay, so the lunar module, this is it for, for shipping, as, as it were. Right, oh my God. Oh, wow, these actually, these actually fold? Are you kidding me? These actually fold. That's ridiculous. That guy lives right there. Yes. And then that closes up. That nice construction. That's really good. Then this guy with the command module. There it is. That's the tap. And then this goes on top of that. Is that really? I'm gonna pull that down so I can take a look at it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. There it is. Yes, wow. <laughs> and part of me wants to just note to myself, there's a lot of moving parts to this. And then I think, yeah, welcome to the space program. Okay, now that is the upright display of this, but I have some other options which is also cool. I have these guys, which are clearly for different sections. Oh, right, okay, yes, there we go. Got that, and then we've got, if one so chooses, one can display the sections <laughs> there we go. And we can do that. And we can also, we don't have to keep the lunar landing module in there. We can pull it out. Oh, yes. Okay, so. There's that, right? It's totally amazing. Then that guy lives like that. Oh. And in addition, we have some things. We have a couple of astronauts. One who is raising his arms in exultation. And, sorry, just take a look at this. This is why I say Bandai has amazing castings. Look at that. That is like half an inch tall. Well, here you have it, all the components of Bandai's Saturn V rocket. It is a, a beautiful construction. I mean, and because it begs the question, we all as a culture have been building this model since the 60s. This is the classic NASA space model. This is the classic rocket ship, right? Uh, so what is there left to do? Give better and better display options and the fidelity of the castings and the detail work. This is, look, for any NASA nut job like myself, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous display item rendered magnificently. It really, like, when you, when you are looking up close at something like this, it's been mass produced. And I have built this model, and I've also used parts of this model on countless industrial light and magic models. Uh, but looking up close at the detail and understanding that they mass produced this and still achieved so much detail, it's, 
very inspiring and it is a beautiful model. And I mean, this is one of the ways we learn. We become obsessed with stuff. And then when we become obsessed, I become obsessed, I become a completist and I want all the things. And then slowly as I'm gathering the things, I'm getting knowledge without even realizing it. I'm learning about the different tanks and the multiple stages of uh, the Apollo program and how we got to the moon, how we used these vehicles and reconfigured them along the journey. All of that story is here in these models. And they've actually included a, uh, a helpful narrative here of the multiple stages of what configuration it was in during the journey, at what point in the journey. I was only two years old when we landed on the moon, but there is a way in which I believe that like a whole section of world culture became armchair experts in how all this worked because no one had tried this before. And I, it's helpful to remind myself of how it must have felt back in the 60s to watch what NASA was doing and follow along and become obsessed and learn about what humans can do when we band together to try the impossible. And the way we got there was using this vehicle. It is a great display, and I really appreciate that they've given multiple options for how to display it because that is one of the bugbears, especially for collectors like me. Thank you guys for joining me for this beautiful and NASA-themed show and tell and unboxing. I will see you guys next time.